Dayton. The following segment is sponsored by Logan AC and Heat Services. And joining us from Logan AC and Heat Services is our friend Amanda right here in studio. How you doing? Enjoying the holiday season? I'm doing great. Staying warm. I know a lot of people are doing their best to stay warm. I mean, it's starting to finally heat up outside, but brutal cold spell. And for a lot of people, unfortunately, that meant maybe their entire furnace system going down and you here to tell me what well, a big culprit there was. Yeah, there were a lot of repairs necessary, but one thing we can all do as homeowners is check the furnace filter. I know I say that every month when I come on Good Day Dayton, but it's so important. Many of the problems that were encountered over the weekend were due to a dirty or just an old furnace filter. For 10 bucks, you can eliminate this problem. Start today, start at as a New Year's resolution for 2023 and get those filters replaced. You mentioned checking your filter, replacing your filter. That would make for a great 2023 New Year's resolution. Make sure you're not having any furnace issues, especially when you least want to have one when it's so cold outside. But let's talk about other things changing in 2023, especially with the whole, you know, AC and heat industry. It's going to affect you guys at Logan and really everybody because we all have AC and heat systems in our homes, our apartments. So I know starting with a refrigerant that's changing, right? Yeah, so there's a new refrigerant coming into place this next year. Um, right now, furnaces are manufactured with 410A. It's commonly referred to as Puron, but that is going away. What was environmentally friendly 20 years ago is now old technology. So um, look for a new refrigerant called 454B. The new systems will all have that and it is going to leave lesser of a carbon footprint. How is it going to affect everyday households? Do they need to change something themselves or they call the experts to do it? How exactly does this work? Yeah, so there's nothing that really a homeowner should take on by themselves. Um, when it comes to replacement of your heating and cooling system, that's where you're really going to notice the change. If a repair is needed with a system that has one of the older refrigerants, it's going to be a little bit more costly because it's going to be harder for us HVAC companies to get those refrigerants. Well, speaking of other things affecting HVAC companies, let's talk about just other changes coming in 2023. Are there any other big changes we have our eyes on in the horizon? A big one. So we all know that there's inflation out there, um, but Congress is working hard to um, bring forth new measures for homeowners to save through the Inflation Reduction Act. Um, we don't have a whole lot of details on this right now, but what we do know or do understand is that there will be some tax credits or incentives available um, for people to upgrade their heating and cooling systems with electric heat pumps, high efficient electric heat pumps. So if you're looking to upgrade your heat pump this year or maybe switch your air conditioner over to heat pump technology, look for ways to save and as soon as soon as we have more details, we're going to let you know. Okay, so that Inflation Reduction Act having a lot of changes across many different industries, including the HVAC industry, and people can get more details as those details come out. Running a little bit low on time here, so if anybody wants to get in touch with the team at Logan and just see how you guys can affect them and their households in the year 2023, what is the best way to start that dialogue? Yeah, call us um, or book an appointment online. It's so easy, it takes just a few minutes and we're here to help. Well, give us that website one more time in case anybody wants to go online and book that appointment. Yeah, it's logan-inc.com. And we're seeing that website on our screen right now. Amanda, always a pleasure to have you here and so you always bring in the good tips and hopefully everybody is staying warm the rest of this winter. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, happy new year. Happy new year to you as well. It's coming up sooner than I thought. Guys, stick around.